Welcome to another quick tutorial, this time in After Effects, and we're talking about creating some text overlays for videos that you may be creating. Um, so going for kind of a simple effect, but one that's valuable in real estate, um, where we are going to have this text, this graphic highlight over the video and kind of um, list the amenities as they come into our scene. Um, and it's just kind of a simple wash of text and some bullet points that come in and fade in very nicely and very simply. Um, so something simple like that is what we're gonna what we're gonna work with. So um, where we're gonna start here is we obviously have the concept in mind that you just saw. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start just by creating um, a let's go with just kind of like a, a cream colored uh, box here that I'm gonna put right in the center of my screen and what you want to do is you want to create your animation kind of fully fully developed first and then we're going to go backwards to create the animation um, really important part of making these shapes animate the way you want is to always pay attention to this little dot right here in the middle which is called our anchor point um, and so we want to make sure that our anchor point is always in a position that we want and in order to move this, what we can do is we can go up here and we can click on the anchor point tool and we can move this um, up to the very top and I'm holding down shift so that it stays in the center um, but I also want that to snap right to the top so if I turn on snapping it'll now snap right to the center and then right to the top where I want it so now what that'll allow me to do is if I change the scale on this and I want to uncheck the link here or the constraint so that way I can go all the way to zero and this thing will completely disappear. So that's going to be very key because as you notice here as this folds down we want to start with with nothing there first. There's a frame where nothing is there and then boom down wipes that screen okay so in order to do that we've got to start um, with the anchor point in the exact right location um, I'm also going to create another shape layer here uh, this one's going to be like my another box kind of on top and actually what I'm going to do is move this down a little bit pushing the arrow keys here and then I'm going to make sure that's not checked because otherwise I'll be masking and then I'm going to go ahead and just create a top kind of label on top of this and I'm going to change the color a little bit let's make this a oh, total white and maybe I'll add a little stroke to it uh, just something like that Obviously, you can play around with it. This isn't uh, this isn't going to be a total finished product I'm giving you. Um, the other thing that's nice is you want to make sure you know on your title here um, that can be 100% as far as the opacity goes. But you probably, since you're going to take up a pretty good portion of the screen, you're going to want to turn the opacity down just a little bit, just so you can still see some of the items behind it. So maybe go like 70%. Okay. And then on my top layer, I'm going to want this to wipe from left to right or to appear left to right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my anchor point now right up there so that if I change my scale horizontally, I can start at zero and grow this thing all the way out to 100. And then let's just start adding in some some text so I'll make a, a title here since I'm going on white I'll use black and I'll just call this tutorial oops that's quite large so let's make this a little bit smaller and let's put that right in the center and then I'm just gonna kinda list some items and since I'm on a more of a gray down here I might change my text to white just give it a, a nice uh, difference there and so we'll just kind of list some components here. We'll say, you know, after oops, I'm gonna want to make my paragraph left justified. And let's go like 33. So we're, you know, we're making
making a, an After Effects tutorial. We're talking about animated text graphics and video overlay animation, something like that. Um, and I actually did that incorrectly because I want those to all be different components. So what I'll do is I'm gonna just delete these bottom two and I'll take this one and I'll duplicate it twice and holding shift now I will drag the top one down and then I'll drag the other one down that I, that I created another distance, something like that. Now I wanna give this some kind of a unique um, bullet, it's a little plain right now. The other thing I noticed is that my big shape layer here is a little too big, so we're probably only gonna to need to go to like right there. So what we can do is if, you can go back in your shape layer and you can create you know, different shapes that if you want, um, or you can import different shapes. So we could just go in here to uh, Google like uh, an arrow icon. And uh, let's see what we have here. So we'll go something like this. So we'll download this one. I'm just gonna bring this right into After Effects. And I'm gonna scale it down a little bit and I'll position it for my first area here. And I'm going to duplicate it again. And we'll move the second one out a little bit. So similar to what we had. Um, and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to change, want to change these colors. Um, so we're just going to want to go to our effects and type in fill. And we're just going to want to generate a fill. Um, and that's going to allow us to pick any color we want. So maybe let's use something a little bit flashier like a a green color and I'll put that behind the, the gray so now we kind of have uh, something that looks a little bit better in my opinion now let's just make sure our position on this is kind of where we want it to be and uh, uh, let's see here we could pre-comp this now and just call this our arrows and then I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and duplicate this again, and we're just gonna move, kind of move these down into positions that we want. I know I want these three to be a little bit smaller. Oops, so my, this is an anchor point problem I just created. Um, but anyway, I'll just create these, make these smaller, and I'll just kind of drag them into position. Okay, so we got something like that. So we've got kind of like what our completed scene would look like. And now we're gonna walk backwards from the very beginning. So the first thing that's gonna happen is these arrows are gonna come in right here. So I've got these, uh, these arrows here. So I'm gonna go in and I'm going to make them animate. And so the first one that's gonna come in is gonna be this green arrow. So we'll start with a position We'll, we'll actually go forward a little bit and we'll just set a position to where it's gonna be set now and then we'll drag it back a little bit. So the first move is just something like that, boom. And then we'll do the same thing with this. We will set the final position to there and then we'll drag it back from here. So it looks like this. Now obviously we wanna make this look a lot smoother. So let's go ahead and easy ease these in. So I right clicked keyframe assistant and I just went down and clicked on easy ease. And now those come in a lot smoother. Um, and I might drag these out a little bit, just to give them more time. And then the last thing we gotta do is make their opacity animated. So for this one, um, I'm gonna start with an opacity of nothing. And then about halfway there, we'll make it go to 100. So it'll kinda have this smoothing in effect. And same thing, we'll go to the beginning point here. 
and we'll just kind of we're just kind of playing around with this. So now I've got that look right there. So that that looks pretty good to me. So we can go back to our AE text, and now they're all going to have that effect. So all we need to do now is as these texts come in, we just need to take these different arrows that we created. Let's find which one's which. And we just need to kind of step them out a little bit like that. And they're all going to do the same thing. And just kind of come in and highlight. So we've got kind of the first part done. Next part is I'm looking at my top arrows there. Once my second arrow gets to uh, starts to appear, I'm gonna make this shape uh, make its shape move or its scale move. Um, so actually, let's go to the where it fits in position, and I'll make that scale keyframed, and then we'll walk it back to where it starts appearing. We'll make that zero. Okay, and the same thing we're going to do, we're going to easy ease this. So now we've got kind of this effect. It's super fast. So maybe we need to go think bigger here. And now we got this kind of wash going across the screen. And then as it gets right across tutorial, we're going to want to make our tutorial text show up. And then that way it just kind of looks like it's creating, it's wiping and, and sort of writing on that effect. And then the final thing we just got to do here is as, as that finishes, I'm going to make my bottom shape animate. So let's go down here to our scale. Um, and I'll go forward a little bit to about right there and I'll add a keyframe. And then right here, I'll just zero it out. And the same thing. Let's easy ease this. And I should probably be easy easing these in. Uh, but you can play around with how you, how you like to easy ease. Most of the time you want to easy ease them in. That means they're going to slow down as they show up. And then the last thing to, to do here is to animate our text. And there's a really nice animation preset. Uh, under text animate in uh, which is just called your slow fade on so let's just add that to our after effects text and it's just gonna go ahead and automatically write on something like that it's gonna write the text on so now all we need to do is we need to play around with the uh, when that animation happens uh, you can either go inside of the actual uh, transform and the animator here and you can play with this range or you could just simply drag the uh, the text just back a little bit okay so this is my first arrow showing up So the first one starts to write on. And then about here, I want this second one to, to start to appear. And then as my third arrow shows up, I'm just gonna barely start having the final one show up. Okay, so let's take a look at what this looks like. So boom, there's all my stuff. And now it's, it's really not pretty. This is not something that I would you know, recommend running with just yet. Um, first things first, this arrow is definitely showing up a little bit too early. So let's make that just go back a little bit. Uh, but, you know, it gives you an idea of what you can do with some of your text overlay. Um, another cool thing here is if we just take all of this right here and we just pre-comp it, and if you just hit the shift and windows key and D, 
Um, you create a duplicate, but you create a split here um, right wherever the cursor was. So then what you can do is you can go in and you can change this to, um, you can go under time, and you can time reverse the layer. So let's say you wanted to, uh, what I need to do is kind of just walk this back a little bit. I don't need all that. Now you could pick how long you want it to be on the screen and when you want it to reverse itself out. So I could do something like this. And I just need to make sure my frames are correct. And now, what I, now as you'll notice, it'll reverse itself out which is kind of nice. And then right at the end where it disappears, I'm just gonna hit N on my keyboard and then I'm gonna right click and I'm just gonna trim the comp to the work area. So I've got a seven and a half, eight second long graphic. And there it is, holds on the screen and reverses itself out. The last thing I wanted to show you here is, um, you notice that these there's sharp edges on these lines as they come in, um, but that's the, that's not very professional looking. We want that to look more um, like there's motion blur, so like it's a real object moving in space. So what we want to do is find this shape, and um, we can just simply uh, click on the enable motion blur here, and then click on that on the shape. And you'll notice now as it moves, it's a much more soft edge as it swipes across the screen. And then we can do the same thing here, just going to enable motion blur. And now as this plays out, it looks much better, much more realistic as it comes in, just cleaner and more professional. So the only other step here is to um, either link this into your Premiere Pro project, or you could bring in a video clip to After Effects if that's how you want to do it. Um, or you could render this out with a uh, transparent background and just drop it onto a video clip. But um, that's for another tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope this was helpful. And thanks for watching and please subscribe.